guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl Chanel the living dolly welcome if it is your new or welcome back if it is you are an OG subscriber guys guess what we have made it to 800 yeah! <laughs> thank you so very much for subscribing for liking for commenting for sharing y'all are absolutely amazing and i am feeling so very good if my face is looking wet right now it's my um setting spray i just wanted to get this video on the go because i'm so excited so i hope you all enjoy this video thank you all so much once again for all of your support i am deeply deeply grateful we are like heading to the goal which is to get to a thousand subscribers right um I want to get to like by the probably like right before my birthday it'll be a lovely birthday gift my birthday is august the 5th by the way leos unite but say what if it is i get it at the end of the year i'm cool with that too but i'm just so grateful that you all continue to show me love and support me i'm just super super thankful so thank you so in this video i know that was like a long ramble but in this video we're going to be doing assumptions about me so if it is you are following me on my instagram at the living dolly i always remind you all go follow me link in the description box right i asked you all if you wanted to see um an assumptions video about me and a lot of you all said yes so i was like okay great no problem so <laughs> These assumptions are very funny. Like some of them I was like, what? And some of them I'm just like, oh, okay, I can understand. But either way, good, bad, or ugly, I am ready to answer your question. So let's get into it. Okay, so assumption number one. Someone asked me, well, they actually said that they assumed that I was rich because the way that I dress and the vacations that I take. So let's address it. <laughs> I found this was kind of funny, but I do understand. But I'm definitely not rich, not even a little bit, not even almost rich. I am a, a hustler. Yeah, let's say that. <laughs> I am a go-getter. I, in my 30s, yeah, in my 30s, something kind of switched, something kind of clicked in my head where I'm just like, listen, one stream of income is not enough for me. I have a daughter, as you all know, Naya, she's 14. And she's a little costly, as we all know most children are. But besides that, I um, I wish I had used some of the opportunities given to me in my 20s. Because then, who knows, maybe now I would have been rich. But everything in, you know, God's timing. But no, I'm definitely not rich. I, I, just, I just want it and things in life. By the way that I dress, um, let's make it really clear. I am extremely cheap. Yes, I shop at Rattans. Mm -hmm. My favorite sheet sets are from Rattans. I bought my Christmas sheet set for $150 in Rattans and I love it. I didn't even want to change it because they are so pretty and affordable. Um, I do shop online, but let me tell you why I shop online, mainly for myself. I also shop online for Naya, but mainly for myself because it is so expensive to shop for a girl my size and with my style my style is i would say sometimes simple it's like you know whatever mood you're feeling for but like the things that i want i only buy on sale i'm sorry but that is just who i am i always use a coupon code when i'm shopping online i don't play you know big money griff and just be swiping my card no baby that's definitely not how it works and i have definitely learned to save which is very hard okay is like if it is i have a goal and in the back of my mind i'll just keep you know reinforcing that so it's like maybe it comes off like i have a lot or something but i just think it is my drive that kind of pushes me to do certain things so i had no intention of starting up a thrift store i was talking to my best friend and she was just like oh my god you know times are getting really hard what are we gonna do whatever and i'm just like well i mean we could sell our old clothes because let's be real there's a lot of clothes that we either outgrow don't like anymore or you know honestly not even going to wear and what are we gonna do with it so she was just like okay let's do a thrift store and i was like okay that's great so that was a really awesome extra you know coming in or whatever but yeah it's definitely not because i'm rich and I have not gone to a vacation in, oh, let's be real, since last year. 
but that as well is definitely a save up you always have to save it's an annoying process because i really don't like it sometimes sometimes i want to just do what i gotta do but if it is you have a goal and you know you want something just keep pushing for it and if that means you are studying so that one day you can become a doctor and buy a mother mansion no problem you want to be a lawyer you want to be a chef you want to be a youtuber blogger whatever it is you want to do you know just just keep that goal at the back of your mind and seize every opportunity that you have i really wish somebody had spoken to me in my 20s and tell me chanel don't buy that or don't waste your money on that go do this you know that kind of thing so that's definitely probably why does i look like if i have um money like i'm rich but it's definitely not that if i was rich i would probably have like my own house in bora bora that we would be going to like every summer vacation or something and that's definitely not the case but we're working on it so let us see how things go but yeah i'm not rich <laughs> not even a little bit okay rich. so assumption number two i'm always happy no <laughs> definitely not i I am the type of person that I would love to always be happy, but this is real life, things happen. For example, right now, I'm not happy that we're in lockdown. I'll be honest with you, I'm not happy. I knew certain steps are gonna be taken if it is we as a people did not do, you know, the right thing so that we could conserve life. But am I happy? Hell no. There were like lots of plans that I had for you know content creation and different stuff like that i wanted to go places do things you all know our family loves to go to the beach we had like a whole schedule plan of places that naya wanted to visit for her food blog my sister wanted to go to different places i wanted to go to different places like definitely i'm not happy about that but generally speaking i am the type of person i love to laugh i'll be honest with you i'm always laughing i am that type of person but i have my days like every other human life is not perfect there's so many things that, you know, I want in life or whatever. And sometimes, you know, the lack of patience that I suffer with. Are you like me? Are you suffering with a lack of patience? <laughs> I'm learning to kind of take everything in stride. You will get what it is you work for in time. But yeah, that definitely does not mean that I don't have my days. I definitely have my days. There's certain, get away fly. There's certain days when I have been uh, really angry when it is you know your mind would kind of play tricks on you and you would think oh my god like um i shouldn't i should be farther ahead than where it is i am right now or you know you have doubts your fears different things like that but i try to promote positivity and happiness because there are there are so many things that we have that we can be grateful for number one thing which i think at a time like this right about now people don't realize how much of a gift that is is health and strength like that is something that i cherish so i don't play with that i'm always grateful that god wakes me, wakes me up every morning you know so and my family and friends are healthy and safe like there's so many people right now who lost loved ones so like you just need to focus on the positive even though there may not be many at the time or what it may look like or what it may seem like that is what kind of keeps me going so yeah i'm not always happy but i try to be so someone said that they think i could be struggling with like youtube and work and you know my regular life and i'm not lying to tell you sometimes it is a struggle mm -hmm. sometimes i don't feel like you know doing anything we all have our lazy moments and trust me i used to struggle very very much with procrastination like i was just like eh, i'm not in the mood and then many times i still have to kind of pick myself up and be like yeah chanel get up even though you're not in the mood you have things that you want to do remember you have goals that you set for yourself so you know i could understand that but when things were a little bit more in full force like minus the lockdown and minus restrictions and you know not any of the panoramic that we're dealing with right now yeah i used to kind of struggle because it was time and I'm the kind of person, as I don't know if you all noticed, but I love to film in natural light. I find it just the best thing ever. So like, you know, it was kind of a crunch to get home from work on time, make sure and get the videos done, do what I needed to do, organize, customer, whatever it is. Like, I just needed to, you know, balance my time better. But yeah, I guess that's one good thing that this situation has kind of caused life to kind of slow down a bit. So I do have a little bit more time on my hands, but sometimes it definitely is a struggle. Definitely. 
another assumption that I got was I'm very passionate about what I do and I'm a very creative person um definitely passionate so yes thank you very much for that I uh, I love this I love doing YouTube I love you know just this whole blogging kind of lifestyle I love it it's something that I really wish that I had done in my 20s you'll hear me say it all the time but yeah I, I love it it's something that I think is a good way to spend my time and a good way to try to make people happy and to try to make people you know feel good something to look forward to especially in a time like this but concerning creativity I don't think I'm that creative but <sighs> hmm it's like yeah i'm creative but i think i could do more is anybody else like that they always think that there's something else that they could do i'm an overthinker okay so like i'm always like thinking okay what can i do what can i do what can i do like that is in my head i don't always come up with solutions but yeah but thank you for noticing my passion i very much love this i love you know getting to talk to you all it's just something that i enjoy so yeah Another assumption that I got <laughs> that I find is so funny and probably because I have gotten it mm, a lot of times in my life is I am stuck up and bougie. Hmm. It's probably like a yes, no. It depends on what your interpretation of a stuck up and bougie is, but if I... I'm trying to say it in the right way. If I am a person who is very goal oriented, does not tolerate nonsense anymore, does not um, stray away from her beliefs and stuff like that. If you think that is stuck up, I don't know, but it could come across that way with certain people. They may think like, why wrong with you like are you acting so you feel you better you know you all know i hate those words you feel you better i'm definitely not that type of person but there are certain things and i guess ideas or something that i'm just not gonna stand for i'm not gonna tolerate um i have tolerated a lot of crap mm -hmm. especially in relationships and i will definitely not be doing that anymore so i don't think that's a stuck up or bougie mentality or lifestyle it's just about you knowing your worth. but it's not to say that i am walking around with my head held high and i can't speak or nothing like that hell no that's definitely not me uh people are often amazed and i think a lot of people in my real life probably don't give me the opportunity to show them who I am how like super chill and normal that I am but or people will be kind of like I always get this that you're intimidating thing and I really don't understand that probably because I know I'm not and the thing is anybody can talk to me I it's not a problem which leads me into the other assumption that I got is that somebody else said that um, they feel that if I am so cool and chill and they could just walk up to me in the street and talk to me definitely i am that type of person even though we're you know in the midst of this worldwide situation but i am that type of person i think i am so just normal and chill um i think people get confused with this you know like hair makeup and everything like that but take off the hair and makeup and i'm just me chanel chanel who is just home always with like a face mask on her face and just chilling you know on her bed in her room or like eating <laughs> you know so like i i'm definitely not stuck up and bougie and if it is you see me in the road and you want to say hi or whatever i always call people people have messaged me before and be like oh i saw you but like um i was too uh, shy or afraid or whatever to say hi and i'm just like what like girl no like it is okay i am so chill i am no celebrity and it's just cool vibes to me you always have to have that humble spirit that you could just be approachable and cool with anybody if you are feeling intimidated you have no reason to feel that way because i am not 
I'm not scared, at least not in my opinion. All right. <laughs> Another assumption that I got is I am always super confident. No. Um, I think confidence is a lifestyle trait. It's something that you are constantly learning, especially if you came from being insecure or just kind of concerned or worried about something in your life, whether it be your skin, your hair, your weight, whatever it is. Um, I just kind of learned to love myself. Uh, I don't even know how to describe that process. It's a one-on-one -on -one thing. I don't think anybody could teach you that. Uh, but yeah, I came from, as you'll know, I have said it 10,000 times, from having acne, scarring, and hyperpigmentation, the works. Like, my skin was a hot mess. And I still struggle with it up to this day. For example, me and my retarded self decided, decided to sleep with a face mask on my face, and it broke me out. Like right here, sure. You can't see it right now so much because of my makeup, but like my jawline was like acting up. It happens, you know, and I wasn't like feeling to be like, woo, you know, busy talking to people with it, but I'm home. So it's like, I'm okay and I'm doing my, you know, my treatments. You all know I don't play with my skincare because of my sensitive acne prone skin. But yeah, for the most part, I just try to, to exude confidence. Or you could even fake it till you make it. So there may be times when you do not feel that confident and you could just kind of say, you know what, this is what it is. And even though I don't feel that great right now or that like strong in myself or whatever, I'm going to just keep pushing. Like I have had my moments like that already. Um, even like pre this entire situation, pre the panoramic. Yeah. When it is, we had to like go out there with like no face mask on when it was practically normal life i would have felt very self-conscious when it is i wasn't wearing my makeup at times i know my skin was looking rough but you just kind of learn to live with it like we all have flaws we may not have the exact same flaws but we all have flaws and you know things will get better once it is you believe they will and you work towards it they will so confidence is not something that i could teach you per se but it's like something that you just kind of always have to keep growing with but yeah that is how it is oh my wigs <laughs> okay i'll be honest with you this wig i got from angel cumberbatch she is a local trinidadian uh makeup artist hair guru kind of like an influencer i would say yeah um really really good i had it first installed by her um i have had wigs from west kiss hair store Naldula hair um i see hair beauty if you like i can do a video where i tell you about um my wig experience and everything like that so yeah let me know if it is you're interested in anything like that like my wigs or anything i actually have videos where i install my wigs i can leave all that for you in the description box down below but for those of you who are like now getting into wigs or anything like that you know just as a protective style to help grow your hair i'm all for it so let me know if you're interested in anything like that somebody said <laughs> that they assume i have a thing for bad boys hmm. Okay, so that could be kind of true. When I say that, in my past relationships, I have had some rough experiences with the guys that you know you're not supposed to go with. Yeah, I have, I have committed a couple of crimes, not legally, but you know, heart-wise, emotionally, with them. But they're no good. Mm -mm. I'm here to tell you if your mother is telling you to stay away from a particular guy. Yeah, ten out of times, ten out of ten times, she's definitely correct she's seen something that you are not seeing or you are blinded by love to see but i think gosh i don't actually want to say this out loud but i think sometimes you have to go through some kind of bad experiences to know what is good for you what you deserve yourself with it's like a process a, a growing up process so it may not be like the best thing when you look back you're like oh my god i should not have done that but <laughs> yeah life is life is full of experiences good and bad so yeah i have i don't know bad boys are just uh, 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're just those types. They're bad boys, so definitely stay away from the bad boys. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this quick little video. Uh, my assumptions about me don't forget to follow me at the living dolly on instagram i'll leave it above here for you and as usual the links to all my social media handles as well as my business pages where you can always come chat with me it's never a problem i'm always online so yeah <laughs> it's right in the description box down below right so thank you all so very much y'all i am just superbly grateful that We've made it this far and I could just see us reaching so much farther. So thank you so very much. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Let me know if you have any other assumptions about me. I could do a part two if you like. Let me know. It's not a problem. And for those of you who did watch my previous video, thank you very much. And yes, there is a giveaway going on right now. All right. So if it is you looked at the last video, you will know everything that you're supposed to know about the giveaway. So I will see you in my next one. Bye.